Hey, what's happening guys? What I've got for you today is a simple little circuit using two transistors and three resistors. And actually this is going to be two different circuits. So what we have here is a transistor AND gate. Okay? These transistors you see here are C... 1815s. They are just general purpose NPN transistors and their pinout is emitter collector base. So you see the collector is getting straight to the VCC rail on this first one and the emitter goes to the collector of the second one. That emitter goes to ground. The emitter also is going through our LED to show when the circuit is active. Now over here on the bases, I have two 4.7K resistors. There's a 4.7K here as well. And they are both grounded at this time. And if I bring one of them up and bring it to VCC, nothing happens. But when I bring the second one up to VCC, the LED lights. That is an AND gate. Both things must be true for it to work. Let's draw it out so that you get a better understanding of it. So to start with, we have our two transistors. And they are both NPN transistors. Like I said, in this case, it is a C1815. This is our VCC rail here. Here's ground. So now we need to get our second one here. This again is a C 1815. These are 4.7K. Anywhere between here and 10K is fine. Then this goes through another 4.7K to ground. We connect the emitter of, we'll call this one number one, this one number two. The emitter of number one goes to the collector of number two. This collector goes to the VCC rail. And then right here, we're going to come off to our LED to another resistor, which in this case is 470 ohms. And that goes to ground. So here is our, or here are our, our inputs. They both have to go high for this to turn on. So where's our truth table? Right here. So there's our truth table. We have our ins here and our outs here. Transistor one, we'll call A, B, so if they are both zero, which is what they are right here, we get a zero. If we move transistor B, make it a one, but transistor A is a zero, we still get a zero. And if we swap them around, we still have a zero. One, zero equals zero. And if we bring them both to ones, 1, 1 equals 1. So, interesting you say, but what can I do with this? Well, you can use this for a lot of things. You could even call it a data selector. In this case, two things have to be true for the output to turn on. Because isn't it easier to do this with an AND gate IC? Yes, it is. 
But this is what the AND gate IC is doing. And this is showing you how it works. And if you're gonna learn electronics, you need to know how these things work. Not just I can put an AND gate in there and make it work, okay? So now, let's take this and make it an OR gate. Let's do our truth table first here. In, out, A, B, Y. If A is zero, B is zero, Y is zero. If A is one, B is zero, Y is one. If A is zero, B is one, Y is one. And if they're both up, then they're all up. So how do we do that? Well, we do it almost the same as we did before. Pardon my drawing. I'm definitely no artist. So again, there's our VCC. There's our ground. Four point seven K. Four point seven K. Four point seven K. Here's our LED. There is our 470 ohm resistor. So this collector goes to VCC and this collector goes to VCC and this emitter comes down here and joins right here like this. So, what do we need to do? Well, we need to remove our little emitter line there. And we need to take our collector here and bring it up to VCC. So both of our collectors are at VCC. And then we're going to take our emitter line from the first one, transistor A, and it is going to come over here to our output. So that's all hooked up. Hopefully I did it correctly. So here's transistor A, bring it to VCC on Transistor B, bring it to VCC, on, both of them, on, both of them, off. So in this case, our OR gate allows it either one, and, but our AND gate is both. Remember? So both. That's our AND gate. OR gate is either. So now you know how to select either of, either of two inputs or both of two inputs. And now you can put this into any circuit where two things have to be true or one thing has to be true for the output to be true. All right? Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.